Hey, welcome back to the set, everybody. I appreciate you stopping in. Hey, today we're going to do some corned beef and cabbage that's going to be sure to be a weeknight favorite or maybe got a St. Patty's Day option coming in. Whatever. Could be a weeknight meal. Possibilities are endless. But hey, stick around. You won't want to miss it. some good groceries. My mom would make a casserole though. She would do a layer of cabbage and then corned beef with some creamy mushroom soup, some onions and some potatoes stick in the oven and that was dinner. Man, I really love that. Really miss that. All right, so let's get started y'all. First thing we need to do is we need to get our vegetables cut up, which means our cabbage and our onions. Next, we're going to cube up 12 ounces of bacon and we're going to fry this bacon off, then fry our cabbage and onions in that bacon fat. Hey, repeat after me. Love, peace, and bacon grease. Last but not least, the corned beef. So it's been a while since I've did one of these, but it has this cool little key right here. And I've kind of started it so I don't look like a buffoon on camera. But uh, yeah, you're supposed to pop a hole right here. I don't really know if you need to or not. So I'm just going to start twisting this handle. Feel free to use fresh corned beef if you want. Growing up, my mama just used this. Is it gonna make it? I don't know, it just keeps like, I think so. I think it's gonna make it. Here you go, it's the key to my heart. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Ugh. All right, pretty snazzy, huh? So there you have it, canned corned beef. It's gonna be great. All right, now it's time to get cooking, y'all. So first things first, we wanna get our bacon down. The reason why we wanna get the bacon is we wanna get that goodness of that beautiful fat down. That's what we're gonna fry our cabbage in and our onions. When you lay your bacon down, just make sure you kind of feather it out so that it's not just one big clump. Every so often, start a bacon and feather it out again. All right, I'm gonna slide this bacon over here to the left. That's kind of finished cooking, but look what it left behind. Look, left behind some of this bacony goodness. Hey, I know you're enjoying the content. If you don't mind, hit that like button and leave me a comment. I'd love to interact with you. And now we're gonna add our cabbage and our onions to this. Any kind of leftover bacon grease that you got, just kind of come to the bottom or the top. And put that right back into your cabbage. All right, give your cabbage a nice little toss. Get all that bacon grease incorporated. And you wanna cook this for about two to three minutes and then repeat. All right, about halfway in, I like to add a little bit of water to this. Probably about two tablespoons of water. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of this chicken powder. The chicken powder just adds a great little flavor. So this is similar to using chicken stock, but I think it just tastes better. Now for a little bit more seasoning, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Blackstone Essential Blend. Get all those flavors incorporated. Time for our corned beef. We wanna go in, go in and just chop this up onto the griddle. It's got some fat in it, but it's also great to kind of put a char on. So every so often, toss your cabbage. You wanna cook your cabbage to your liking. I kinda of like mine with a little bit of crunch to it, but not totally lifeless. I just spread this corned beef out to a thin layer to try to get a little bit of the crust on it from the blackstone. So often, flip it over. Again, it's already cooked. It don't have to really be cooked too long. Our corned beef, it's done. I'm gonna lay it over here in the cabbage and it's gonna give it a nice little toss. Let's add our bacon to this also. Everybody in the pool. I'm gonna put all this in one layer and let this cook for a little bit. After about two minutes, I'll flip this over and I'll let it cook about another two more minutes on this side, and this will be ready to be taken off. Corned beef and cabbage is done, y'all. Hey, there's nothing left to do but to give us a try. I want to try to get everything on one bite. Ooh. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Wow. Cabbage. When you saute it like that, it kind of takes on kind of a sweetness. Corned beef has got a saltiness to it. This kind of comes through. The bacon has this awesome goodness, hickory smokiness. And man, the onions give it a sweet too. All these just play so well together. Y'all just went together so fast, make a great weeknight meal. Again, this is a playoff of a childhood favorite of a casserole. Make it into a casserole if you want to. Either way, I promise it'll be good. Hey, I appreciate you sticking around. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you see more awesome videos just like this. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.